I was looking through the Harbor Freight magazine and there was a really good super coupon for the Daytona Jack that I've had my eye out on. And being that it's close to Black Friday, I checked 2018's Black Friday list and it was a $10 difference so I figured that was probably good enough. I don't want to wait too much longer. And so I went into Harbor Freight and they had all the different Daytonas in a line here. And they make some good ones and that green one looks pretty good too because it's even a little longer and lower profile. And, uh, of course, they're going to compare it to the Snap-on one, and uh, the Daytona is almost a third the price. So it's a good value, and these are the specs if you want to press pause and look that over as well. I figured this one would do the trick, so I went ahead and uh, bought it, and it is huge. Is The first thing I want to say is it's a lot bigger than you might think. So uh, what I was doing here is I wanted to get it out and compare it to my current jack. And my current jack I got at Costco. It's an XL. And I've had that for probably seven or eight years. And it's been a good jack, but it's uh, kind of dying out. And so I figured now would be a good time. Uh, this thing is also 100 pounds, is at least uh, what it comes with in the box. So it's pretty heavy, too. Uh, to get it out, you got to push down and take off this little uh, coat hanger deal that keeps that uh, thing down. But uh, pretty simple installation, comes right out of the box. You push this down, you pull the little tab out here and the handle slides down into place. And uh, then the other handle, uh, which is really nice, has one of the little push tabs on it. Um, the XL one had a screw and sometimes I like taking these off if I'm really close to a wall and don't have a lot of clearance. And so it's nice to have uh, just the little button on it to, uh, rather than having to misplace the uh, screw. And uh, One of the things they advertise on this heavily is how uh, fast it can lift, how each stroke can uh, really make it uh, go up significantly. So uh, here it is next to the XL and so now you can see kind of the difference in size. It's definitely a, a little bit bigger being that that red one was already kind of a, a bigger jack. And profile wise, the red one looks like it's a little bit bigger, but if you put them nose to nose, uh, they're pretty, pretty similar. And like I said, the green one, if you're interested in that one, would be even uh, better for that. So uh, for the long, low profile. So here I was just lifting them side by side to kind of show you and uh, you'll notice one definitely outlifts the other. Uh, however, the red one is kind of, uh, you know, it's old, so it might not be lifting at its full capacity. And uh, while I had the jack up, I just thought I'd show you what it looks like uh, on the inner side of it. Uh, of course, it's brand new, but it looks like it has some pretty nice structure to it. It looks like it's pretty well built, so pretty happy about that. Uh, so next I decided to put it under the Cobra, and so uh, my Cobra is stock height. If you have a lowered car, you'll probably still want to drive up onto a phone book, but this one slid right under it, and uh, as you can see, it did a, a, a very good job of lifting. I didn't really have any trouble at all. Um, to be expected with a brand new product, but um, it was nice and smooth, and that uh, big long pole really helps uh, with the leverage, so I was happy with it. It did a good job lifting. Uh, but the height of the jack is really important. I didn't go up all the way with it, but that's definitely an important aspect with it. Uh, when you're, especially if you, like me, I have an SUV and a truck as well, so that's going to also be important to be able to get it up off the ground. Uh, something that I really did like about it as well is the tires themselves seem to have a rubber slash plastic type coating, so it's really not too loud as it goes over these expansion joints in the garage. Uh, there's a funny meme out there talking about how the loudest sound known to man is a rolling jack on uh, concrete, but uh, you know, the other one was a lot louder, and uh, so I'm really happy that they at least coated the wheels for it. it it's a nice uh, feature for it. So anyway, you'll see this in the channel a lot more as we continue our projects. And uh, this with the coupon, everything came out to just over $200 with tax. So uh, you can definitely get the cheaper ones for about half of that if it's worth it to you. But I thought I'd just give this one a, a try. It seems heavy duty and 
you know, like I said, I have some bigger SUVs and trucks and some other things too. So definitely uh, doesn't hurt to have one of the bigger boys here. So anyway, put in the comments what you think and if you have it and what your experience is on it if you've owned one of these and let me know. Thanks for watching.